Shredmentor Challenge of the Day number 185. This one's a little out there. There's a little bit of uh, over-exaggerated sliding in this one. Um, you will need 24 frets for this if you're going to do it in this octave or in this key. Um, anyway, here's how it goes, and we'll break it down. All right, so kind of over the top, like I said, um, but sometimes it's fun to create just a really uh, almost drunken sounding, over overly exaggerated kind of slide, a swoop into a note that's even higher than what you just did. Um, and in this case, the way that the original sequence I'm doing right before the slide in each case is done, it kind of does lead right into that note. Um, let's break it down and I'll show you what I mean. I'm actually using... Um, something based on an E major, uh, but I'm actually throwing its fourth in there, so. All right, and there's a little bit of pedal point in this, basically, so it's uh, kind of a, one of the notes in the mid-range of the melody. All right, it's a B in this case, and so what I'm doing is the last note that I played, uh, with the, or rather the finger that, that played the last note, is gonna slide up to the note in the scale right above the pedal point note. So, E, B, a, B, G sharp, B, and then slide into C, but on the next string. Rather than, I can do that, it'll be really easy, but it won't give you the exaggerated swoop kind of sound that I'm getting here. All right, that was a, a weird mistake I made that actually led to this today. So this is just something I was kind of doing, messing around, and I was like, whoa. And then it reminded me that I really love doing slides in from below. Um, way below so i could have even though b is right there it just you know if i it's just i'm sure it's a fine melody but it's a lot more interesting i think if you ooh, it's like where would that come from so it's just sort of over the top you want to use this sparingly um and i would say that this particular challenge probably overdoes it just a little bit but it's just another little example of a musical way that you can use this every once in a while to great effect all right so we're starting with that that's the first phrase from it's basically i'm going to go by the triad and i'll show you them adding one extra note into it it's basically a, a an add 11 as far as the formula goes your 11 is your four in this case right so one three five and then we're going to actually also add the four in there from the, uh just to add an extra flavor there now we're going to go above whatever the five is and hit the six all right then um all right so that was based on a harmonic minor in this case this is your five two root two seven and then i slide up to the third now I'm going back to A natural minor for a moment. I'm using the G, which is the seven in this case. This is your, um, it's the same uh, sequence as what I just showed you, but we have a different, um, it's actually almost the same thing. Same shape really, just up three frets. But now I'm gonna slide up to the E, since the pedal tone in this case is D. D, D. Okay, this is where I'm going to switch back to harmonic minor for a moment. I'm going to go from actually kind of a wide stretch here from B at the 19th fret to the F at the 13th fret. And I'm going to hit the E and D. And I'm going to slide up to the raised third up at 21. All right, again, really big wide slides that kind of are over the top and just crazy sounding. And the last one, while I'm already there, I'm gonna hit that note again, but with a different finger. I'm gonna do kind of um, a D5 for a moment. D and it's five, so it's just the four of the scale, the one of the scale, the raised seven, that one again, the six, the F here. And now here's the really tough part with, even with 24 frets here, you have to slide your middle finger because that's, I'm kind of using whatever finger I just used. So I kind of get everything out of the way and arrive right at 24. And then after that, I just go up for the 24th fret. So I actually slide out of that. And then I was slide up into the 24th fret. All right, so let's go through that one more time, more slowly than the first time. All right, you give it a try, have some fun, and I'll see you again tomorrow.